Hey guys, I'm Simitos Ken, and we're about to do carpal tunnel release surgery. That's like, uh, you know, if you're a gamer and you, you play a lot, of, a lot of World of Warcraft or computer games or just any kind of game where you're just moving your hands over and over again. It's chance, you know, carpal tunnel is, you know, you've heard of it. It's a thing you've heard of. And we're going to see how that's treated. And of course, before you scrub in, it contains graphic procedures inappropriate for children and squeamish to adults. It's got this thing kind of jammed up in its hand right now. So... Let's just get in there and see what's going to happen if I ever get carpal tunnel from playing all these video games. Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Limited Open Carpal Tunnel Release Surgery. Hmm. I'm Dr. Jeff, Hello, Jeff, and I will be guiding you through the procedure today. Carpal tunnel syndrome is characterized by a tingling numbness or pain in your hand, and sometimes forearm. It develops due to the swelling of a ligament in the wrist known as the transverse carpal ligament. The swelling of the transverse carpal ligament creates pressure on the median nerve in your wrist. This nerve is responsible for supplying feeling and movement to various parts of the hand. Performing repetitive motions with the hand or wrist over a long period is the main cause of carpal tunnel syndrome, and the condition is more commonly seen in women than men. Mm. Researchers have also gut. discovered that other medical problems such as alcoholism, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, and infections could also lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Maybe that's Today, just we'll like be operating on a patient who has been diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome after experiencing numbness and weakness in the palm of his hand and thumb. Oh, sorry, man. Now let's put on our gloves and get started. Man, it feels kind of weak. I've been playing a lot of games today. The limited open carpal, carpal tunnel. tunnel release surgery is performed <gasps> using a local anesthetic that numbs the carpal tunnel area of the hand and wrist. If a patient is nervous or uncomfortable, I'll sometimes use a sedative as well. A sedative mm. is a drug given through an IV that places the patient in a dreamlike state. However, our patient today will only receive the local anesthetic. Okay. Go ahead and get the operating area numb. Oh, yeah. Let's just sh shoot him right in the hand, right there in the thumb pad. Ow. And right there in the freaking wrist. And then in probably the spot it would have hurt the least if I would have started right there. <laughs> oh, With the wrist anesthetized, spots. we can now begin the operation. I've already tied a tourniquet around the patient's upper arm. Can you go ahead and outline where we'll be making our incision? Sure can. Just give me that pin. Yeah, just a little smiley face here and some little happy people over here playing in the street. Oh, my. You know, someone over here, you know, happy, happy. Give him a happy face. Happy face. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a little sunshine up here in the corner. A little sunshine. Yeah, or maybe that's Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned, he's mad, mad Uncle Ned. You guys can't be playing in the street. What do you think you're doing? Looks good to me. Oh, yeah. We'll Thanks. We'll be making a three-quarter inch incision at the intersection of those lines. Now mm. take the scalpel and make the incision. Hmm. So I'm going to be cutting my, be my hand right here. Okay, let's just go ahead and jab it in there. Oh, did it. Nice. I couldn't have done it better myself. Thanks, Jeff. Now we'll spread the incision wider to expose the transverse carpal ligament. All right. This band of tissue is the cause of the problems. Place the retractors into the incision and spread it open. Oh, yeah, let's just, let's just... I think oh. you're a natural at this. Yeah, that must be pretty good. Oh, and there's another thing? Okay. With the be... transverse carpal ligament exposed, I'll need you to slip a carpal tunnel guide into the incision. Carpal tunnel. This is a blunt-tipped instrument with a groove on the upper surface to accommodate a special knife. The Ooh. carpal tunnel guide is placed down the carpal tunnel and underneath the ligament and is used to protect the underlying nerve and tendons. Okay. Go ahead and push the carpal tunnel guide into place. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Just just shove it right Once up his wrist. Position, you'll advance our special knife down the guide to split the carpal ligament. As you push the knife forward, you will feel it cutting through the carpal ligament. Okay, let's feel it. Let's see. Mm, yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel it cutting. Just, just, a, just a cutting. Perfect. Thanks. With the transverse carpal ligament cut, the median nerve is no longer inflamed. Now we can begin to clean and close the incision. Go like, ahead and irrigate the wound. Now we just stick this pump up in you. <laughs> Why do we cut it? To, to let out some stuff? Maybe I missed that. When you're finished, I'll release the tourniquet, allowing blood to flow back into the hand. Great. Now you'll close the wound using non-absorbable sutures. Okay. Non-absorbable. So you have to come back for a follow-up. Ah, get in there. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, just sling it in the hand. Man, I'm a freaking professional. With the wound closed, we'll inject additional numbing medicine around the operating site to help relieve some of the immediate pain the patient may feel after surgery. Since I just cut his 
tendon wide open. And lastly, we'll place a small dressing over the wound to absorb any residual blood. Okay, let's just let's just let's tape that on there. We'll and immobilize the wrist with a splint and a sling, and after one to three hours, our patient is sent home to recover. Hmm. Our patient needs to keep in mind that because of some of the medications we used, he may experience a bit of nausea. He will also be given pain medication to help relieve the discomfort he'll feel in his wrist. Once our patient returns home, he'll be asked to follow specific instructions for driving, exercise, and medication. This will include keeping his hand elevated above his heart for the first few days after surgery. About two weeks after surgery, oh, we'll remove our patient's hand. stitches and he'll be gradually allowed to return to his normal routines in four to six weeks. And that's a limited open carpal tunnel release surgery. Thanks mm. for stopping by. Now Why I'm not like, try out oh, some of man. the other amazing surgeries uh, here? Uh, on oh, we can do breast Squad. implant com. surgery. Ah, uh -huh. anyway. So if you ever wondered how they fix carpal tunnel syndrome. That's how they do it. So if you're playing a lot of games, tippy tapping all day, spamming, spamming your keys and your global cooldowns, then uh, you know that's this could be in store for you. Possibly, I don't know. I haven't really ever, I've never met anyone that had carpal tunnel or anything, so maybe it's not as common as you, some people think. It's kind of a fear as a gamer, I guess. It's like, ah oh, man. I mean, if I freaking live on the computer, I sit here all day. If I had, if I couldn't use this hand. <sighs> what I want to do? Wait, are my hands backwards to you guys? No, maybe. I don't know. I'll flip the camera. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. I'll see you guys next time. Stay toasty, my friends.